Good evening. Today we will be doing a total body sculpt class. I can picture myself tripping on the pillow. So just check your surroundings, make sure there's nothing in your way. But let's just start how we always do. We're going to start moving. First step to exercise is moving. So we're just going to, again, do whatever you want. You can step side to side, swing those arms, deep breath in and out. And bring those arms above your head if it feels okay. Deep breath in and out. Good. Keep breathing. Maybe a little marching in place here, swinging those arms. Good. Okay. Then we're going to start off with our first cardio burst, which will be an option between high knees and just marching in place, trying to get it a little higher than you did for that warm up march. All right, I'm gonna switch between both. You choose whichever one you would like. We'll start in three, two, one. Good. And again, hands can go wherever they want. You can put them in front or you can put them to the side, wherever they wanna go. Keep breathing. Get those knees up as high as you can either jumping or not jumping. Three, two, one. All right, active rest, a little side to side. We'll start again in three, two, one. Good, awesome. Even if you're not jumping, try to stay at a steady pace. Feel free to hold on to something. Good, keep breathing. Awesome. We have three, two, one. All right, active rest. Keep breathing. We'll go back to the knees, high knees in three, two, one. Jumping or non jumping. Good. Good job. Keep going. Good. Get those knees up. Almost there, we have three, two, one. All right, active rest. Keep that breathing intact. Good, we have one more in three, two, one. Good, get those knees up. Doesn't matter if you're jumping or not. Good, Keep breathing, awesome. We have three two and one all right great job first first done we're going to now go into we're going to lift that leg we're going to kick and step back down so we're going to kick forward and step back down so feel free to hold on to the wall as you kick you can decide how high your kick is you can bring it up here and you can kick down on the ground like you're kicking a, a soccer ball Whatever you want to do, just trying to get up as high as you can. We're going to alternate sides for 12 on each side. Okay, ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Try to get that leg up. Good. 11, 12. Again, we're going to do 12 on each side. So up to 24. Good. 15, 16. Good. 17, 18. Good. Try to stay upright. Keep breathing. Good. 20, 22. Good, one more on each side and done. All right, give those legs a little shake. We are going to switch between that and we're going to do a cross body chop. So we do this a lot. If you come to my core and more class, we're again, trying to use that core. Also our legs are involved and our arms. So we're gonna bring our legs apart, little bend in the knee. We're gonna start at our right hip, little bend in the knee, diagonal over your left shoulder, 
and slowly back down. So we're not whipping ourselves up or whipping our weight up. Nice and slow and controlled. Good. Keep breathing, use that core, keep a pelvic tilt. Good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Awesome. Eight. Nine. Good. Keep breathing. Nice and steady. Ten. Eleven. Good. And twelve. Perfect. All right. We'll now switch to the other side. So we're going to go from our left hip over our right shoulder. Good. Keep going. Nice and slow. Two. You can bend those knees as you come down. Try to have a pelvic tilt at the top. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight, nine, great job, three more, nice and slow, no speeding up, 11, and 12. Okay, put that weight to the side, we'll go back to our front kicks. So again, feel free to hold on to the wall. You decide how high you wanna kick, one, good. Two, I'm gonna just count every other time so I don't have to count to 24. Three, good. Keep it nice and steady, four. Five, good, keep upright. Six, good, keep breathing. Eight, good, nine. 10, awesome, 11, and one more on each side, perfect. All right, give those legs a little shake. We'll grab our dumbbell again. Okay, let's go back to that cross body chop. So bring those legs apart, little bend in the knee, right hip, a little bend, Diagonal over your left shoulder, pelvic tilt, and slowly back down. Good. Two. Good. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine, great, you got this, nice and slow. Check on that pelvic tilt. Make sure you keep breathing, last two. And done. Okay, great, we'll switch to the other side. So left hip, cross over your right shoulder, pelvic tilt, and slowly down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Keep going. Nice and slow. Focus on the core. Good. Eight. Use those knees so you don't round your back. Good. Last three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Okay, you can put that weight to the side. We're going to go into our cardio burst. So this time we're going to do a squat jump. So two options, of course. We're going to have our feet together, little bend in the knee, either jumping in and out or side to side, still maintaining that mini squat. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Good. Keep that mini squat. Make sure those knees aren't going over your toes. Again, either jumping or stepping side to side. Good. Almost there. 
We have three, two, one. All right, active rest. Keep breathing. All right, we'll start again in three, two, one. Mini squat. I'll do the modified version, whichever one you want to do. Use that core, hold everything in. Good. Keep going. You got this. Good. We have three, two, one. Awesome. All right, two more to go. Keep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, we'll start in three, two, one. They're jumping or stepping. Good. Keep breathing. Awesome. Keep going. Almost there. We have three, two, one. All right. One more round. Three, two, one. Mini squat, side step. Good. Keep that core engaged. Keep breathing. Awesome. All right, almost there. Good. We have three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna switch between two more strength exercises. We're gonna first do the tricep extension, then we're gonna do a side lunge. So let's grab their, our dumbbells first for the triceps. All right. So feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, weights at your hips, back flat, head wherever it feels like you have the least amount of pressure on your neck. We're going to extend back and slowly forward. So just moving from your elbow down, targeting the back of your arm. Good. Keep going. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. 11 and 12. Awesome. Okay, you can place those weights to the side and we're gonna go into our side lunge. So remember with this, feel free to hold on to something in front of you for balance. You can decide either just to step out and step back in, or you can go down further into a lunge, just making sure that front knee or that side knee doesn't go over your toe. And then we'll step back in. So step to the side, think down and back, and step back up. Again, you decide how far you go down as long as your knee isn't going over your toe. All right, we're gonna do 12 on each side. Ready? And go. One, check on that knee. I'll remind you throughout. Two, feel free to hold on to something. Three, good. Four, good, five, six, good, seven, check on that knee, eight, good, nine, ten, awesome, keep going, eleven, and last one, 12. Perfect. All right. Give both legs a nice little shake. We'll switch to the other side. Step out, think down and back, check on that knee and meet back up with the other foot. Good. Two. Good. Keep breathing. Stay upright as much as you can. Good. Four. Good. Five. Six, good, seven, eight, awesome, nine, ten, awesome, last two, eleven, 
and 12. Great job. Okay, give those legs a shake. We'll go back to our tricep extension. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells again. All right, so feet together. So light bend in the knee, hinging at your waist, weights at your hips, elbows in, head wherever it feels most comfortable. We're going to extend our arms straight and back. Two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, Good, eight, keep breathing, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, awesome. Well, let's go back to that side lunge one more time. Then we have one last burst before we head to the floor. All right, so feet together. Again, either stepping or you can lunge down, Pretend you're sitting down just with one leg. Make sure that knee isn't going over your toe and step back up. Again, feel free to hold on to something. You decide how far you go down. Good. Three. Good. Keep breathing. Keep that chest upright as best you can. Good. We're halfway there. Check on that knee. Sometimes it starts off good and then starts to go over that toe, which we don't want. Good, four more. Good. Last two. Good, one more, check on that knee. And done. Give those legs a shake. We will switch to the other side. So feet together, step out, down and back. Check on the knee and step back in. Good. Feel free to hold on. Three. Four. Awesome. Five. Good. Six. Good. Check on that knee. Seven. Keep breathing. Eight. Nine, good, 10, awesome, last two, check on that knee, and one more, perfect, all right, give those legs a shake, we have one more burst to go, then we'll have a quick water break and head to the pool, all right, so let's end our burst with a skater, so either jumping or stepping. All right, and again, make sure there's nothing around you you're gonna jump on and that you're not wearing socks like me. Okay, ready and go. I'll start with the jumping. You can do whichever one you want. I will switch back between the two, but keep breathing. Good. You got this. Awesome. Good. Three, two. One, all right, a little sidestep, active rest here. We'll start again in three, two, one. Good, awesome, keep breathing. Use those arms if you can, awesome. Three, two, one, all right. We'll start again in three, two, one. Good, keep it going. We have one more after this and then we get a little rest. Okay. Awesome, keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, last burst of the night. In three, two, one. Good. Make it count. You got this. Good. Good. Keep going. We have three, two, 
and one. Perfect. Go grab some water, catch your breath, and we're gonna slowly make our way to the floor. All right, I will meet you down there. All right, so again, take your time getting down. And we're gonna start on our back. So you're there on the ground already. You can just relax, take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, so if you're not there already, we'll just wait a couple more seconds and then we are going to switch between flutter kicks and then we're gonna do side to side heel taps. Again, either raising your, um, your head up or you can stay on the mat and just move your arms from side to side. You don't have to move your head on the ground. So whichever one feels more comfortable. But the trick is I do not have my watch today. So we're going to estimate 30 seconds, which I think I'm pretty good at. So if you feel like, okay, this has definitely been more than 30 seconds, feel free to stop. But I think I'll be pretty good at this. All right, so pelvic tilt, legs up. We're gonna do the fluttering in three, Two, one. Good. Flutter. Good. Keep breathing. I'll do my best. Good. We're halfway. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. Okay, I think that was pretty good. But we're going to now do, again, option one is lift up, tap from side to side, or you can stay on the ground and move your, move just at your waist, but don't move your head. So whichever one you wanna do, third option actually, you can go lift your legs up, and tap from side to side, whichever one feels most comfortable and that does not bother your neck. All right, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, great job. Take a few deep breaths. Okay, we're going to go back to that flutter kick for 30 seconds. All right, ready? Again, position, pelvic tilt, legs up. Three, two, go. Good. Keep those legs fluttering. Good. Keep breathing. Awesome. Halfway. Good. Almost there. Three, two, and one. All right. We're gonna bring our arms out to the side. We'll do a little side to side knees, give ourselves a little twist here before we go into the side to side heel toes. All right, so lift up. We'll tap again, either from side to side like this. And then we'll go like, or this. All right, ready, set, and go. One. Good, keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Uh, give yourself a little breather here. Deep breath in and out. Okay, grab your dumbbells. So let's mine up here. So grab those dumbbells. We're gonna grab both of them and we're going to do alternating weight overhead. So we're gonna hold them right above our chest. One arm goes back, meets back up with the other. Other one goes back, meets back up with the other one. So the key is making sure you maintain that pelvic tilt the entire time. So keep that lower back pressed against the floor. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do 12 on each side, ready? One, good, nice and slow. Really focusing on that pelvic tilt. Two, three, good, four, good, keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt, five, Good. Six. Keep breathing. You've got this. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Make sure you still have that pelvic tilt. Ten. Good, two more on each side. Good, and last one. Perfect. Okay, you can put those weights to the side. We'll come back to that. We're going to switch between that and we're gonna do a bridge, hold three, two, one, slowly lower down. So at the top, we're squeezing our butt together and holding as high as we can for a count of three. You decide how far you go up. If you're feeling like you're getting a cramp in the back of your leg, you can bring those heels in closer to your body. If it feels like it's pulling on your knee, you can step them out a little bit further. All right, here we go. Lift, squeeze, three, two, one. Slowly lower down into a pelvic tilt. Squeeze three, two, one, slowly down. Good. Squeeze three, two, one, all the way down. Good. Squeeze three, two, one, and down. Good. Squeeze three, two, one. Awesome. Make sure you keep breathing. Squeeze three, two, one. Good, we're halfway. Squeeze three, two, one. Awesome. Squeeze three, two, one. Great, last four, you got this. Three, two, one. Good, and again, you decide how far you go up. Squeeze three, two, one, all right, last two. Squeeze three, two, one. And last but not least, 12. Squeeze three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna go back to the weight overhead one more time, alternating sides. We'll do the bridge and then we'll stretch. So grab those dumbbells once again. I'm gonna have our weights above our chest pelvic tilt, one arm goes about three fourths of the way back, meets up with the other hand. Other one goes back, meets back up with the hand. Good, keep breathing. And again, remember to keep that pelvic tilt, press that lower back into the ground. Good, three. Good, four. 
Five. Good. Keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt. We're halfway there. Nice and steady. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. Check on that pelvic tilt. Ten. Eleven. Good. One more. Twelve. And other side. Perfect. Okay, you can put those weights to the side. We're going to do that bridge with the squeeze at the top. So we're gonna lift those hips up, squeeze three, two, one, and slowly lower down, pressing that back into the floor. Squeeze three, two, one, slowly lower down. Good. Squeeze three, two, one, and down, squeeze three, two, one, and down, good. Squeeze three, two, one, and down, good. Squeeze three, two, one, good. We're halfway there, almost done. Squeeze three, two, one, good. Squeeze three, two, one, slowly down, last four. Squeeze three, two, one, good. Squeeze three, two, one. Okay, last two, make them count. Up, squeeze three, two, one, and last one. Squeeze three, two, one and down. Okay, now we'll go into our stretching. So again, we'll just do a little short version. Feel free to repeat these a second time or check out our longer stretch video. Feel free to skip anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Okay, so let's try to bring our arms out to the side and we'll go into a spinal twist. So we're gonna bring both knees over to one side, little twist. Again, only if it feels okay. Make sure you keep breathing here. Good. Keep breathing. Good. Hold a few more seconds. Keep breathing. Okay. We'll switch back to the middle. And knees over to the other side. A little twist. Keep breathing here. Now holding your breath. Try to keep those arms down if you can, giving yourself a little chest stretch as well. And close your eyes. Really focus on your breathing. All right, back onto the back. All right, pulling those knees in towards your chest. Swaying from side to side, rocking on that lower back. Keep breathing. Good, keep breathing here. We're gonna slowly release one of those legs. Pulling the other knee in towards you. Good, keep breathing. Good, a few more breaths here. Okay, we're gonna slowly switch sides. So releasing that leg forward, grabbing the other leg in towards your chest. Good. Keep breathing here. All right, we're gonna release both legs 
arms above your head, stretching out your whole body. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right, we're gonna bend those knees again, bring those arms to our side. We're gonna do the piriformis or pretzel stretch. Two options, you can either bring one leg over the other and just cat, really gently push away with that um, hand, push your knee away from you, or to make it a little harder, you can go into the full pretzel stretch and grab the other leg in towards you. Good. Deep breath in and out. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Slowly release that leg on your cross. All right, we'll do the other side. Cross that leg. Pulling that leg in towards your chest. Good, deep breath in and out. Good, keep holding, keep breathing. All right, we'll let that leg go on cross. Straighten those legs out. Arms above your head. One more time, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Slowly bring those arms to your side. Bend those legs. We're gonna stay here for a few more breaths. And then we're going to very slowly make our way back up to standing. All right, try slowly make your way up. Take your time. We'll meet you at the top. You're not there yet, no worries, just take your time. If you are here, you can just roll those shoulders back. Just breathing here, and roll them forward. I'm gonna do a big head roll very slowly all the way around. Away. Okay, we're going to bring our legs out to the side. Slight bend in those knees, letting your whole body fall forward, releasing any tension in your neck or your back, swaying side to side, grabbing onto those elbows if it feels okay. Slowly rolling up. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Last one. Deep breath in and out. Okay. Awesome job, everyone. <laughs>